Hello everyone, my name is Naomi and I'm building my first PC. This is part 3, the storage, memory, fans and power supply. If you haven't seen part 1 which was the case and part 2 which was the CPU and motherboard, the cards will be right up here and yeah, welcome. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, welcome to the series and for anyone who's new, I am, as I said, building my first PC and I'm just going to be telling you my thought process, the prices of everything, why I got them, where I got them, how much, all those details. And uh, yeah, and we got some parts a few weeks ago, well, I'd say a week ago actually, and that would be the memory, the fans, the storage and power supply. One thing that I kind of forgot to mention in the other video and probably I think I mentioned it in the first video but one of the contributing factors to why I choose the parts that I do is because I want an all white build so unfortunately white let's say colored parts are usually a bit more expensive than just black ones yeah I just want a white PC so yeah if you see me choosing some parts it's and specific colors it's because of i want a white build so that's one thing i'd like to just point out and if you too want a white build too just know unfortunately you would be spending a little bit more in the long run which is going to be a lot more to get white parts over black parts okay yes so that's out of the way um the first thing i'd like to talk about is my memory so initially i for some reason i would just want like crucial products is it called crucial but it was it was probably Corsa. yeah it was Corsa, but not crucial i'm confusing with my storage yeah so initially i wanted uh Corsa, um ram because i don't know i just saw it on a lot of builds and i was like mm, okay that looks nice people use it it must be dependable let's get that so i had that in my build but then um maybe that thing was expensive it was like i think over 100 it was over 100 um dollars so i was like okay is there any other alternatives and then luckily i found team group t force yeah, Team Group T Force Delta RGB 32. Yeah, that's what I got. So yeah, let me show you how it looks like. So here it is. Here it is. Um, yeah. So this is the T Force Delta DDR5 uh, RAM. As I said, I'm trying to get everything in white. There we go. White white ram so yeah so these parts usually glow the tips over here usually um change the rgb so they change color and yeah the, i choose the white variant as i've said multiple times so yeah this is it if you hear me snuffling a sniffling a lot it's i have some allergies and i think it's dust related so yeah tmi but um what else can i say about this yeah it's just what it is um just wanted something pretty some rgb you know just wanted it to be white and not stupidly expensive so this is what i opted for and also reliable like i want to choose brands which i've seen other people use a lot so that i know it won't like fail on me hopefully it doesn't fail on me so yeah this is what we got moving on to the fans so a little throwback to why not really throwback but a little explanation of why i chose this fans in particular is because i'm kind of picky about how i want my fans to look because initially when i was looking at like how pcs like you know pcs look in terms of like the fans i really like the design of the nzxt fans which would typically have um like a ring around the blades and that would be very like like very distinct RGB on the outside. 
so i was just like wow i really love how those fans look inside cases i was like oh yeah that's definitely what i want so when i picked those ones i then discovered that um these bad boys which is the thermal take suave uh, suave fan ex i will have it here so these ones actually have that same look plus you could daisy chain them instead of having daisy chaining means like you could attach the fans to each, each other ma magnetically without having individual cables from each fan which allows you to cable manage a bit better i, I hope i've made it a bit clear <laughs> um yeah so i'd show you like this is how like normal fans look like and then this is how nxt fans look like and then this is how um yeah thermal take, thermal take fans look i discovered these on tiktok um someone was just bought them and installed them into their pc and i was like wow that looks amazing and i want that i want that i want that so the beauty of these fans is that i let me just show you yeah this is how one of them look so yeah as you can see white we're trying to fit the whole white look and uh, i think this is the pins to where they're magnetically attached to each other and uh, yeah um so now the beauty of these they come in a set of three and uh, these are the size is 120 and i have a little oopsie i did which i'll explain at the end um yeah so the three of them and the beauty of they on them they come with an extra fan blade which is now the reverse it's literally written reverse at the bottom i don't know if you'd be able to see that so these ones come in handy when you want to switch the fan blades because as you can see some people like i'm not sure about the science not really science but the explanation of like right when you put this it obviously takes in air to cool in to cool your pc but people would want a situation where it you know sucks out air so that will like kind of force you to put it this way but then now this will be facing the outside part of your pc and that is not that's not pretty that hair is not pretty you don't want to this side to be seen from the outside of your case so that's where these fans come in so you just pop this one out pop this ones out put down and then it'll be doing the opposite i hope that's a correct explanation but yeah that's the beauty of it usual um normal uh, yeah normal fans will have to like flip the fan to change the direction of airflow but the beauty of this one is they come with an extra three blades of uh, reverse uh, the reverse fans so thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up my first mistake my first mistake was um these are meant to be in front of on the front of my case yeah um the front i didn't do i wasn't attentive so the front of my case for the nzxt h7 flow which is the case i have they need bigger fans in short these are 120 i needed 140 so i messed up i messed up so i'll have to now buy other fans well these don't go to complete waste i could use them for my cooler my the cooler i'm planning to get so it's either that or i sell them but i can just use them on my radiator yeah that's the first mistake i had so learn from me understand your case and the fan sizes it needs so with my next shipment i have to get more fans and they're not cheap these ones were i think 80 80 dollars was it 70 dollars and that's almost over 10k yeah we'll not get into it sad times sad times yeah they come in like this i'm probably not i'm not going to put that like that but yeah you've seen everything and now we'll go to the next part which is the 
let's see um the power supply the third thing i got was the power supply and <sighs> yeah um the power supply seems like something like okay initially my mentality was like you know uh, power supply is nothing fancy there's nothing extra you shouldn't think too much about it but yeah just put an extra thought into your power supply and the company you're going to get because it is the thing powering everything so if you get a cheap power supply and it literally explodes on you and destroys your whole pc then you think twice so invest some time and money into your power supply because yeah you might end up regretting just choosing a cheap generic one so after that being said i will just tell you what i got so i from from what i know you pick your power supply power wattage according to how much your pc needs and consumes so mainly that will come to the graphics card so as i mentioned in my first video when you're just picking your parts on pass, uh, pt when you're picking your parts on pc part picker um at the top bar it will tell you how much your pc is going to be consuming so you kind of choose like a little over the required amount just to be safe um to give it some leg room so for mine i think i it was saying 750 watts so i got this one over here which is the corsair yeah rm 850e um yeah it just it's it's black didn't need to get big white power supplies exist but i don't feel like it's that important right now because where or how my pc is built or arranged it's going to be hidden so no one will see it so i don't mind it being black one thing i would want to mention is also i think it's called a certification but i watched a video of like explaining what goes behind um power supplies the wattage and like the certification if it's like bronze silver gold from what i understood the higher the certification meaning if you choose silver it'll or bronze it'll take in it will use more electricity and then just kind of just burn it expel it inside the cpu while if you choose a gold certificated um is that even the right word yeah but a gold um certificated um power supply it will take in it will consume less power and it will keep everything nice and happy just because i feel like i haven't explained that well enough i'm going to just insert that same tiktok or video here play this is a power supply every power supply has a rating on it that refers to the efficiency of it so gold is more efficient than a bronze power supply this means that it's actually pulling less wattage out of the wall less efficient power supplies will pull more wattage than they actually need and then they kind of just burn off the rest of it and it makes the power Please supply a lot hotter me. and it's not actually going to any use so uh your electric bill is higher so make sure you get yourself a nice power supply um Choose whatever you're comfortable or what your wallet tells you or what your instinct tells you, but just do research. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next one. So the last things that I got were the storage. So yeah, these ones kind of got my head turning a bit. So mainly when you think about storage, you just, you know, get one like stick of like one tb yeah one tb i was just like one tb that doesn't sound right yeah one terabyte of like ssd and you're good that was the the main plan but then like um did some further thinking and like seeing how other people like kind of make their builds again i'm into try my best to future proof so i was like games right now are big games right now are huge okay so back to what, what were we saying yeah 
so i was just like one tv would probably not be enough especially when you're just thinking about the initial install of like the os or updates or all of that that might that and then now space also for games yeah we let's 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 think twice so we got two we got two sticks of one tv ssd one for the operating system and one just for games picking these were kind of stressful can't lie because there's so much out there and you just and then there's so many different prices and then there's speeds and this and that and you're scared of one that fails because i was seeing like one of the most popular ones were like the samsung 9 what was it 980 970 i'm not sure one of the newer samsung um ssds for some with some motherboards i was hearing they were like crashing or they were failing or they were like corrupting people's like people's motherboards and i was like wait okay don't want that to happen so to keep it short and sweet i actually have like a, the all the ssds i wanted to get or uh, not all but like the brands i thought through so initially i wanted to get the samsung 970 and uh, that was the first one and then a second one would be the western digital wd blue because it had a, the price was good the speeds were good i was like yeah efficient good like it but then the 970 was there was a newer version which was the 980 the samsung so i was like why don't we just get the newer one just the 980 so at that point i had the samsung 980 which was the newer version from the 970 and the western digital blue and then after watching some tiktoks i saw a girl who had like exactly almost exactly my build and i was like seeing what she had and then she had um she had one called the asap predator i was like okay let me check that out so i went and checked it out i was like okay the price is good speeds are good so i switched the samsung the samsung 980 to now the asap predator and then from there <laughs> um the now i had now the asap Predator. now my two ssds are now the asap predator and the western digital blue and then i changed the western digital blue to the western digital black because that was the more popular one that gamers were using on their on their builds so yeah so now we have those two the predator and the wd black and then a bit of time passed by and i was like okay um crucial <laughs> also made ssds and those were more reliable speeds were good uh price was good so that was the final stop <laughs> so i opted now to just get the crucial which is this one right here the crucial one tb um ssd uh it is the t500 i'll put an image somewhere and yeah that was the first one and then we also got the wd black so yeah one tb also one tb of ssd and uh, it is what what is the model is it the sn770 yeah image will be put in right here so these are the two storages i ended up sticking with and that's all we have for today folks um those are all the parts and uh once again i will have the cost breakdown right here of everything and the total and the shipment and all the goodies so uh yeah well, thanks for staying till the end i appreciate you i know it's uh, it's a lot and um i don't know i appreciate you staying till the end and please drop a follow wait a minute pause please subscribe yeah, please subscribe and i leave a like and yeah i like 
and i kind of like making these videos for you guys so um yeah hope i have educated someone there in one shape way or form i'm only left with like two or three parts which is the uh, gpu the ao which is a cooler aio and uh, the fans which i messed up so i have to get others so i don't know when i'm gonna get them because they're crazy expensive and yeah i just yeah but i hope for the best you know so thank you for staying as i said um next video will be up soon hopefully and um is there anything else to say oh yeah i did decide on my gpu i'm planning on getting the ot70 super for now and probably upgrade in the future so yeah um as always i keep on saying so yeah sorry um yeah so please uh leave a comment what you think any suggestions thoughts i'd really love to hear what you guys have to say and um thank you for watching my videos uh i guess bye bye